channel. Today's video is on this look right here. Um, it's just a Valentine's Day look, very affordable products um, used for the eyes. Even the lashes are really affordable. So I just wanted to get this up. This is probably the last Valentine's Day tutorial that I will be doing. If you want to see another one, then leave it down in the comments and I will try and get another one up for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If the lighting's a little crazy, it's because when I was setting up to film, one of my lights fell down and broke. So, super sad about that, but um, I'll have to order some more lights because my other one is broken too. I have actually three lights all together and um, two of them fell and broke and uh, so now I'm working with one. So I need to get that going ASAP. But I hope you enjoy this look, and if you want to see how to recreate it, then just keep watching. Let's begin. So first I'm starting off with this e.l.f. long-lasting, lustrous eyeshadow, and it is a cream eyeshadow, and I'm not sure what the color is, but I'll leave it down in the description bar below. And I'm just putting this all over the eyelid with my fingers. That's the best way to get the pigmentation from it. I actually got that at Marshalls for like three bucks, so super good deal. And then I'm taking Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee on a big fluffy brush, and I'm fluffing that from the outer corner inward. And then I'm going to take White Lies by Makeup Geek, and I'm going to fluff that from the inner corner outward. And what that's going to do is when you lay the rest of your colors on, it's going to give you an amazingly seamless um, look, and that's definitely what you want. Now I'm taking Makeup Geek Shimma Shimma and doing my brow bone and then I'm going to take White Lies and put that right over top and it's going to give it a nice beautiful satin finish. Now keep in mind you don't have to use these exact colors, you can use any colors that look similar to these. Then I was just blending that out and now I'm taking Coco Bear by Makeup Geek and I believe this is similar to Brown Script by MAC. It's just a very like warm brown and I'm going to blend that, it's like a reddish brown, but I'm going to blend that from the outer corner um, about halfway in just because that's what my personal eye shape calls for. And then I'm going to go in with that big fluffy brush again and I'm going to blend everything out. Now I'm going to take Bitten, which is a cranberry shade. It is beautiful. Um, and I'm going to do a little dance while I tap off the excess. And I'm going to take it on this little tiny brush and this is perfect for precision of where you want your um, eyeshadow. I really, really fell in love with this brush. I didn't think I would use it when I first got it, but it's amazing. I love it. It comes in handy so much. Now I'm taking Cocoa Bear, and I'm just, or not Cocoa Bear, I'm taking Creme Brulee, and I am just putting that right above the Bitten color, and that's just going to warm it up and make it transition and look even more seamless. As you can see, it looks a lot better. Now I'm taking um, this dark this dark color, it's uh, a dupe for Sketch, I believe, by MAC, and if it's not an exact dupe, it's pretty much it's close enough. And I'm taking this on um, this angled brush, and this again is for precision um, application, so that's what we're doing there. And then I'm just going to bring that up in the crease a little bit and blend, blend, blend. Um, then I'm just going to get my color where I want it. Now I'm taking Makeup Geek Afterglow on this flat shader brush and these next two steps are optional. It just kind of gives you a duo chrome look and it's really, really beautiful. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. So I'm just patting Afterglow with no Fix Plus or eye drops or anything on my brush. This is just the pigment. It's beautiful. All over the eyelid and then I'm just going to make it my desired um, pigment. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to take the really light, beautiful purple color in the Petal Pusher palette by Wet n Wild. You can get this at any drugstore and it's really inexpensive. It's like $4 for all those colors and they really are amazing colors. All the Wet n Wild shadows have really impressed me lately. Now I'm just going to pat that on the center of the lid and what this is going to do is give you a dual chrome look like I said and it's going to bring the attention to the center of the eye. It just is a really nice effect. And then I'm going to take my blending brush, I believe that's the MAC 224, and just blend everything out. 
but be careful you don't want to blend too much on that um, lid because you can make that illusion go away really easily. Now I'm taking my MAC Prep and Prime, and I'm really sorry about my nose, it's so red and I probably sound really nasally, but I'm still not completely better, um, seriously guys, I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. So this is the MAC Prep and Prime Pen in Radiant Rose, the Maybelline um, Brightener shade and the er Eraser, I can't remember, I'll put it down below. But it works really well as the dupe for the brightener pen. Now I'm taking MAC Pro Longwear in NW20 and I'm pretty much just putting that everywhere that I put the highlighting pen just to conceal all those pesky dark circles. Nobody has time for that. Now I'm just taking my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is a finely milled powder and you guys, I'm so in love with it. It makes my under eyes look so beautiful and if you put it all over your face, it actually blurs out everything. It's just gorgeous. But to set everything, I just put my um, Bare Minerals, oh, it's going too fast, <laughs> Bare Minerals Light Color. Yeah, Bare Minerals Light. Um, then I'm going to wink at you, and I just took the Bitten Color and smudged that along the lower lash line, and now I'm taking the darkest color on the outer corner and putting that just about halfway in, three quarters of the way in from the outer corner. Now I'm taking that um, light purple shade again on this really small brush. This is my favorite brush to do my inner corner highlight. It just brings everything together and it packs the most pigment on your inner corner and that is definitely what you want to be bright and beautiful. And excuse my under eyes as well, I'm telling you guys this thickness is no joke and I'm so extremely tired. Um, but now I'm just using that color to highlight my cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to take these Kiss Lashes and they actually worked pretty well. And then I'm going to take my, I'm going to do that and I'm going to line my waterline and my, you know, regular lash line and put those lashes on, as you can see. Now I'm taking Berry Amore by Milani and I'm just running that all over the cheeks. And then I'm going to go in with NYX Dare. It's actually a mosaic powder blush. It's absolutely amazing. I really like it. Both of these blushes blend out really, really well. And I just really, really like them. And then I'm going to take a big stippling brush and I'm going to blend everything out. That is an amazing tool to use. The stippling brush has become one of my new favorites. It just really helps your face have no harsh lines and it's just really amazing. I really need to invest in a smaller one, but for now that big one works. Now I'm just taking MAC Soft and Gentle and highlighting my entire face. I'm sorry I'm talking so fast. Now I'm taking Fergie Daily and one of the Color Elixirs in Petal Plush. And I'm putting Fergie Daily on because I have so much going on on the eyes. I don't need a ton going on on the lips, so just a nice nude lip. And I'm topping it off with the gloss. You don't want to have um, crazy red lips for Valentine's Day if you have a date because, um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned. So that's pretty much it. That's how I got it. Not a lot of products that were used. Uh, very simple and very easy to achieve. If you want to see my foundation, my eyebrow, my cream contour and highlight video, anything like that um, that I kind of skipped over, then I'll leave that down in the comments just so that you guys can kind of take a look. I just feel like it's a lot easier to just kind of focus on the eyes and then obviously what I'm doing on the cheeks that day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see anything at all from me, let me know down in the comments and I will be sure to get that up for you. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.